hello everybody hello world hello grand speakers hello grand souls hello grand voices how are you all doing today it's weekend it's weekend vibe relaxation mode and it's time for another episode of our podcast just podcast why do you do what you do and now we have episode 29 with an incredible, incredible lady, an incredible soul, an incredible inspira- inspirator, and an incredible healer. Her name is Amanda Thomas. He's a founder and lead facilitator of Power Through Healing. And I will bring her up to you now. Let me just find her. And let's the game begin. Let's wait a minute for her. Okay, so let's find her. Wait a second. Mm, okay. Hi, hello, hello everybody. Thank you for watching. I have I I am trying to get Amanda on the live with me, but I don't know why. Something is Hello Hello, hello, Shri, hello Thank you because you are here Uh, I'm trying to get Amanda for this podcast Let's find her again Oh, come on, Amanda. <clears throat> Wait a second. Yes, she is here. Come on, uh, let's bring you on. Come on, Amanda. I you. I send you an invitation. I hope you will receive my invitation to join my live. If you did not receive anything, there is a button uh, down and you can uh, click on the button for uh, asking me to join in my in this live. Do you see a button? Let's bring you again. I sent you already an invitation, so the invitation is sent. Please, are you on your phone? Only on the phone is available, this option, I I believe. And, okay, I am waiting. I am waiting. Uh, it, 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 it is possible that you cannot participate. I don't know why, but uh, my uh, my phone is saying so. So I'm guessing that you were on your laptop. Yes. Yes. Now we can do it. Come on, Amanda. Yes, yes, oh and you my will like. <laughs> I am so Hello. not good with this type of stuff, so uh, forgive me, please. 
No, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. We are all learning all the time, yeah. every day. Yes, no matter. I finally mastered Zoom, but I'm like, I Instagram is new to me, so. <laughs> every day, it's new to us, too. Yes. Well, I'm so happy to be here. Thank you so much. I am so happy to have you finally here. Uh, for the moment, for the starting, uh, tell me how is your weekend? What are you going to do today? Because I know it's morning. Yeah. yeah so it's um, a good weekend for me. I actually don't have much planned, so I'm just going to relax. <laughs> It's really be nice yeah. and spend some time with mom because it's Mother's Day here tomorrow. So, oh, happy Mother's Day then. Yes, happy Mother's Day to everyone. Yes, to all the mothers in the world, no matter the country, because a mother's love is the best therapy and a remedy there is. Exactly. Exactly. So, enjoy your mother today. Absolutely. So, are you ready to begin? I am. I'm ready. Great, great. Uh, first of all, tell us who are you and how do you help enlighten the world around you hmm, what a and the whole world? <laughs> yeah. My name is Amanda Thomas, and I am an impact leader. So I work to promote healing and self-empowerment and conscious evolution. I work with the visionaries, the thought leaders, the forward thinkers of our world who want to create massive impact and contribution. Wow. Wow. Uh, wow. I, I mean, that is just foregoing in the future. Uh, I love this topic of conscious evolution. It's, yeah. it's way beyond our current, let's say like this, our current way of living and thinking and breathing. We and long, <laughs> yeah, we have a long way to go. We have so much opportunity about which way we can go as a collective. And, you know, even though it seems like we're not making progress, even though we can focus on the things that are not working, it's really also just as easy to focus on what is working and to notice the good things that people are contributing to our world. And it's, it can be a really beautiful thing, but conscious evolution just means taking control of our future and choosing a path that will benefit us and help us evolve in the right ways. Yes, yes, you are absolutely, absolutely, oh. <laughs> you are absolutely uh, right. And I do believe that any one of us uh, needs to waken deep in deep inside of us our consciousness for the better for the uh, higher uh, power in us exactly. you know because it's understanding your unique capabilities understanding yeah. that you absolutely are capable of creating more for your life having more for your life but in doing that you're also able to offer more of yourself to this world in better and higher ways. Yes, absolutely. Fantastic. And I totally agree with you. Uh, much easier said than done for uh, <laughs> most of us. But uh, yes, uh, that is the path. Uh, there is no other path. This is the only path to uh, rise above the regular. <laughs> Not to say the normal, because uh, there is no normal. Everybody has their own, their unique path mm -hmm. and qualities. Yeah, and understanding that your unique path is what you were meant to do, what you were born to do and to create for this world. And it could be big, it could be small, it doesn't make any difference. The point is you are making a difference, whatever level that is. Yes, even if you are just breathing, sitting in a bed, mm -hmm. let's put it like this, you are making a difference for all that surrounds you. And that is a difference. Exactly. Because you are alive. 
just because that you know and agreed. yeah agreed so our next question or topic of this podcast is why why do you do what you are doing now what is your reason for choosing this path my reason just comes from personally experiencing that if i decide not to be led by fear and insecurity and self doubt and instead if i decide to believe in my in what is available to me and what i'm capable of then i can align with my highest potential and why do i coach and speak and write and teach about all of these things because i believe that in helping others align with their highest potential then they're going to be able to offer that highest level of contribution to our world and that's a world that i can benefit from that's a world that you can benefit from that's a world that we can all be benefiting from when collectively we are in that creative consciousness and we're supporting each other in our individual ideas and visions for the future and when we're collaborating with one another i want to come from a place of collaboration and synergy and that is just the beauty of what again we are working toward whether we know it or not we all want to be better and do better and have more of that impact yes i totally agree and i do enjoy very much your why it's so profoundly uh, connecting with uh, our uh, um, our pearl that is inside of all of us and i think it's very deep uh, because it's very touching really touching and it's first touching us in in the soul you know because any one of us anyone i know of and i think anyone you know of, anyone wants to grow beautifully together not as a single person right. wants to grow together because we are humans and we are together connected even we you know it or we don't know it we are connected oh absolutely. and yeah it's all about connection and when we are sometimes in our lower moments of life when we might be feeling some anxiousness or depression or solitude that doesn't mean that you are inherently alone though it means that you just are disconnected right now and that's temporary because it is like you said it's human nature to be connected yeah yeah even in, a, in even in your darkest time you are never alone you are never alone no. you are more connected than you know that you are but we are just like trees you know with the roots in the ground this is how we are but it's uh, often too cloudy too confusing to see like this and yeah. i love that you that you bring a shine upon this topic of conscious evolution i think it's um, yeah it's it's important going to uh, to bring some uh, some light it's into important. this world yeah exactly it's my you know the phrase is evolve or die i mean we have a decision to make as a species either evolve into these higher levels of consciousness and and awareness and you know understand that we are navigating and creating our reality and so paying closer attention to the important things that we need taking care of our earth and taking care of our environment you know it's everything that is contributing to our future technology and being conscious about the ways we're using technology is so important to to focus on now and the time is now because we don't want it to become to where it's too late no always is the now mhm yesterday was the now from yesterday and <laughs> tomorrow will be the now from tomorrow but oh, every time okay. is now <laughs> i've never heard that <laughs> it was the now 
Yes, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, before we jump to the third question, I want to um, welcome Magdalena on the line here and to say hello, Magdalena. Welcome and thank you because you are with us today. We are so happy. And number three now, what do you know or what people have told you that it is your most fun and valuable talent also ever? Most fun and valuable talent? <clears throat> I know for sure that I am very talented at singing in the car. My friends have always said I'm very good at singing and having fun in the car. <laughs> And I don't know if that's work related, but I will tell you that um, it, it is valuable because when I'm having an off day, when I'm feeling misaligned or I'm feeling a little bit low, I can jump in the car, I can blast some of my favorite music and I can feel better almost instantly. And I think that's so important to find what works for you to feel better, to always be chasing that next you know, happy thought and that joy that we are, you know, intuitively meant to have in our lives. And, you know, whenever I can do that, and whenever I can just let loose and hang out and have some fun, I, I can get back to my purpose and my passion. And that is just serving others and helping them to create. So I love that. And um, yeah, yeah. But otherwise, I would say I'm very much a good visualizer i'm good at helping others to learn how to visualize and to really let them lean into that dream and that vision for their life and then to to figure out how to break it down into practical steps and that again is very valuable in my opinion yes it indeed is very clarifying i mean uh, if people would tell you a dream you You chunk it into pieces, and I think it's fantastic because this is more clear. And the singing part in the car, I think it's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> and it brings you joy. Exactly. Your soul exactly. is singing, and it's valuable to your mental health. It's relaxing you. It is. And so is you can bring good. more energy into the world. I yeah. never really understood it until when I started to learn a little bit about like somatic healing and moving the energy of your body. And so dancing, singing, exercise, you know, whatever it is, is moving energy throughout your body. And it's just yeah. so important to make sure that we do that to, to again, you know, to feel full and to feel empowered and so that we can stay on track and be doing the things that are, you know, supportive for us. Yes. Yes, we need to have uh, those uh, relaxing moments when we wash away all those negative vibes that are pushing, 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 pushing. Exactly, exactly. Yes, and uh, I do love your talent. <laughs> My talent is <laughs> to dance and to cry. I am a big crier. I love to cry, but I love to cry. Crying is beautiful. Crying is a yeah. nice way to release. And I, I don't cry enough. I wish I did almost cry a little bit more because when I do have a good cry, like, oh my gosh, my life has changed. Like I feel yes. a thousand times better. Totally. I know. Yes. I'm a totally different person after a good cry. Exactly. It's, it's fantastic. It's therapeutic. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Yes. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart for your presence today with wow. us. It was very enlightening. And what I want to ask you after we close this live is to put in the comments all your um, social accounts, all your details for people to get to know you okay. and to yeah. be interested. In, you know, okay. I sure will. Thank you so much for Thank having you. me. Thank you once again for uh, coming here and uh, for bringing your joy and your singing from the car. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And yeah. have a fantastic weekend. You too. And Everybody enjoy your day. mother. 
Absolutely. All right. Take care. Thank you. Bye.